<laughs> that was kind of weird. Sweet, we got boots. Awesome, we should be able to get across that bridge. Ooh, extra move speed and boots. This is an interesting one. Here is one of these uh, doors covered in goop. So basically you have to like hit all, hit the door a bunch of times to get rid of the goop. Oh, here's the mini boss. Another unique thing about today's run is that we've got um, a special arena for fighting the boss. So we'll, we'll see that when we get to that point. But that should really make things a lot more interesting. I'm really loving how the doors are, are also making things a lot more interesting. Having doors everywhere kind of sections things off and makes things more unique. Ooh, barely hit that. Oh, that's so much better. Yes. Oh, this is another big improvement this week is um, the mini-map. It's a lot, a lot better. Oh, there is an item down there. Oh, sweet. There's a key. All right. Cool. Glad I looked at the map there. Yeah, cool. Check this out. Look at this. We're like way up high. And we're going to fall down. Whoa. All the way down here. And we're going to fight this boss. I only have 67 hit points right now. Let's see if I can do this. This boomer. Oh, shoot. I forgot about his grenades. Yeah, this guy is much more challenging than he has been for the last couple runs. This is way more fun to fight than before, and I love this new arena. Yes, this requires so much more skill to fight this guy than before. Very, very pleasant boss fight. Um, <laughs> I was looking at my, my shield code uh, this week and fixing that up and making sure... I was like, why the heck isn't the boss's shield working? And uh, it was because no one's shield was doing more than one hit point of blocking. It was crazy. I was like, what? One hit point? That's all you got? Yeah, and I've also noticed, so I have hit point steal. And it's not really doing too much. It's not really doing too much advantage. I almost need to make it more powerful now. Yes! Right on! That was a fun boss fight. So on today's stream, I played the game a little bit. At first, what I did is I went through and made sure that we could sell items correctly um, on uh, at the at your ship, and you can buy items, and that the prices are pretty nice, and then we have some magical items for sale aboard your ship. And then, uh, so this is your inventory right here, and when you're aboard your ship, you can actually sell items, and uh, you can buy all sorts of fun little items too now. And um, the other thing I did is I made sure doors are working nicely. So now it's really interesting to have the game have doors um, that you have to hit with your with any one of your abilities like your blade or a, your boomerang or your bow or any one of those. Um, so doors now open that way. And we have some other interesting doors too. Uh, there is a verlock door, like here's one of those where you have to hit it a whole bunch of times before it gets rid of all this, like, these roots, these evil roots that have taken hold. And then we also got locked doors, which are, um, you use a key to unlock, and then you can, again, once again, use your, your attack ability to um, open the door up. So that's really neat. We got doors that are, there's more doors, which makes it much more interesting to um, explore dungeons with just a lot more options for doors and also just more doors in general before there was a like last week there was a lot more um, just open paths everywhere and the open paths are are nice especially in the first dungeon it just kind of introduces you things to it just introduces you to the world the dungeon by you just exploring at first but then these doors are introduced once you get a weapon um, because they require you to use a weapon to open them and that's just very interesting to have them there and so this is the last thing I've started working on here is a little mini boss this is not um, intended to be an, a, 
a really big boss fight, but just sort of an, an interesting thing to find that is unique versus all the other enemy patterns and unique versus the boss. And I'm imagining it's going to be something like this. Just a completely movement-locked entity. So we've got just a, a, a hemisphere blob here in the middle of the screen. And uh, the abilities he's using are shield um, and charge, and he's got an attack, too. So um, if I attack while he's got his shield up, I get my sword or my sword or my blade or my axe, whatever, gets dropped. Um, and uh, if also if I try and hit him with my bow while he's got his shield up, the arrows will just bounce off. Let's see that from another angle. See the arrows are bouncing off. And um, when he uses his charge ability, I get hit with a pretty strong attack there. So, so the point of this is just to kind of be something fun and interesting to find in dungeons. And what I'll do next, after all this, I've got sort of like a, a very nice little um, basis for a mini boss here. Now all I gotta do is go create some animations, make him look cool. And imagine he has some kind of arm or something like that, like a crab claw or a spider arm or something, or a scorpion tail, something like that where he can just hit you with that rather than you just seeing nothing when that happens. And then also do some kind of cool shield animation and I don't know, maybe he'll look like a ugly eyeball or a giant uh, cephalopod. I don't know. I'll have fun making this it's really interesting. So this is great. We got to start to a mini boss and by the way, today's run through playing um, Wraithbinder here was definitely the most fun so far. It's a very interesting point of this video game to be playing this game, and every time I play it, it's more fun to play. It's, um, it's so satisfying. As a developer, it's very satisfying because my work is coming to a point where it's like, alright, yes, this is good, this is working, um, this game is fun, I can see other people having fun playing it too, um, and... Um, it's just, it's just also very satisfying as a player because you're like, damn, this is awesome. I love all the abilities and the relics you get and uh, just how, how many interesting things you find along the way. And uh, it's a different run every time. So it's fresh. So anyways.